Hello, my name is Mohammed. Today I'm going to solve one of the exam questions. Uh, also, just revising the topic, which is called angles. Okay, so you know, already know about the angles, which we already discussed in our last videos. How many types of angles? Uh, like a right angles. Okay, which is 90 degree. Okay, this is called our acute angles. The acute angle is less than 90 degree. Okay, which is which is acute angle, the obtuse angles is more than 90 degree and the less than 180 degree. So this is called obtuse angle and the straight angle which we discuss about which is 180 degree. Okay, so this is the straight angle and the reflex angle which we already discussed is more than 180 degree is called reflex angle and the last angle which I say the full rotation angle okay which is 360 degrees so these are the types of angles but the examiner asks these angles in a different way so, so let me go to straight for the question so the question for they are giving you one of is a rectangle is the shape of rectangle this and they just split into two in a diagonal yeah so this one is like this one and now what they do they make a triangle which is This is the triangle, okay, and they are giving you some value. This is X and this is Y and this is the angle Z and also they give you this angle is 40 degree okay so this is the question okay the question asks that what okay it says a rectangle a rectangle is drawn not to scale okay angle x is twice as big as y Calculate, calculate each angle, calculate each angle, which is X, Y, and Z. So, this is the information given in a question. So, this is the rectangle they are given. It's a rectangle. We know the property of rectangle is the 2D shapes and the rectangle has the property. There are four sides. Okay. And the two opposite sides are equal and they have four angles, which is 90 degree. Okay. So always keep in mind about the property for every shape. So this is the rectangle and they just draw a line okay in between and after that they also make a one triangle okay so this is the value of x this is the value of y and this is the value of z so now these are 
three missing angles we need to find it okay so calculate the angle x y and z information they are giving you what angle x what angle x is twice angle x is twice as big as y so it means angle x is twice for angle y so how we work out okay very simple okay we know that the each each rectangle has a the property is a 90 degree okay so this is 90 degree this one is also 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so it means if I say from here to here okay so which is 90 degree so it means x plus y okay the angle x and y equal together 90 degree so now we can work out okay so if I say that angle x is twice as big as y so if I say that y equal to x so I can I can make an equation what simple equation which is y equal to x and the angle x which is twice of y which is 2x and x plus 2x equal to 90 degree is it right very simple so angle y which is x and angle x which is twice of the angle y i put 2x x plus 2x it means 3x so 3x equal to 90 degree so as per equation x equal to 90 divided by 3 so it means it means i divide this 90 degree into 3 because it's comprised total 3 okay so what we divide by 3 to get the 30 degree each so it means the value of y which is 30 degree value of y which is 30 degree so it means this x is twice for y so it means 30 times 2 which is 60 so it means the angle of y is 30 degree and angle x twice of this so 30 times 2 which is very simple 60 degree and now we can work out this triangle the interior angles for this triangle to find the value of z so x we found 60 degree okay and we know that this is also 90 degree this one is also 90 degree if they're giving you 40 so 40 minus 90 so which is 50 so it means this is 50 so we know that 60 degree and 50 degree angle 60 plus 50 which is 110 and the total interior angle for the triangle this one which is 180 so 180 take away 110 so 
we find this one is 70 degree. So we found the all three angles for this green triangle inside the rectangle. And now we can easily find the Z angle. We know that this is a straight line which has a straight angle which is equal to 180 degree. This line, if you look at this line, okay, this is a straight line, okay, and so it means this total line is 180 degree. So 180 take away 70, 180 take away 70, so 1, 1, 0. So it means the Z angle will be 110 degree. So very simple, very easy, okay. So first you need to find, okay, the angle X is the twice of Y. So simple, we know that this corner, the total is a 90 degree. So we know that is a twice. So it means there are three, three angles. Okay. So we divide by three to get the each angle value, which is 30 degree, 30 twice of 30, which is the value of X is a 60 degree. So the answer for answer for x angle is 60 degree and the y is 30 degree and the z is 110 degree so these are the answers so that's it for today and if you like this video please share with your family friends and see you in the next video bye bye